The head of the commission, Peter Grace, was fond of noting how ridiculous some programs are. Here's my candidate for the first member of the Hall of Shame. Now, this letter was sent to me by one of our supporters as a glaring example of waste, and it's addressed to the Secretary of Agriculture. It reads as follows. Dear sir, my friend Ed Peterson over at Wells, Iowa, received a check for $1,000 from the government for not raising hog. So I want to go into the not raising hogs business next year. <laughs> As I see it, the hardest part of this program will be in keeping an accurate inventory of how many hogs I hadn't raised. <laughs> now, my friend Peterson is very joyful about the future of this business. He's been raising hogs for 20 years or so, and the best he ever made on them was $422.1968, until this year when he got your check for $1,000 for not raising hogs. <laughs> I plan to operate on a small scale at first, holding myself <laughs> down to about 4,000 hogs not raised, <laughs> which will mean about $80,000 the first year. Now, another, another thing, these hogs I will not raise will not eat 100,000 bushels of corn. I understand that you also pay farmers for not raising corn or wheat. <laughs> well, I qualify for payments for not raising wheat and corn not to feed the 4,000 hogs I'm not going to raise. <clears throat> also, I'm considering the not milking cows business. <clears throat> so please send me any information on that, too.